<clears throat> Yo, what's up, sexy Samuel and the squad? Today we're doing a new thing that I want to start doing, but I'm not sure how it's going to be perceived yet. So I'm not going to say it's going to be a new thing just yet, but it's definitely something that I would like to do, and it's going to be called um, Try Hard Thursday, which basically you would assume is just like one try hard god while I'm try harding. Um, and like a five or ten minute video, right? But realistically, I would like the video to be about 30 to 45 minutes long. It could be longer, it could be shorter, but 30 to 45 minutes long of just me um, tryharding, really. I mean, that's, that's about it. And commentary-wise, it will be a little less talking than normal, but more informative, I think. And I'm going to be focusing a lot more on my gameplay than I am about um, talking. And I think it's just something that nobody has really done. And uh, being from like a, like a top 10 GM perspective, I think could be cool for a lot of people to, to watch me just like actually try hard for a little bit you know so um that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna try oh the first matchup is an on her mirror wow perfect for a try hard game oh my god okay you want a spoon um sure oh it's fine okay huh he's a pro player okay his clan tag is two times not gay. I don't know if Blackthorn will be good here. I would imagine it would be, but I'm I don't know. I'm just I'm gonna get it, but I, I'm a little curious as to if it'll be good. I'm gonna go shell. The reason I'm going shell instead of bracer is because later in the game, I don't want bracer anyways. Because he's gonna get toxic blade. Because I'm probably gonna build Aussie at some point. And he's going to get Toxic Blade, so I don't want to stack those up. Yeah, it's a, it's a pro player. Should be fun, fun game. We got Aegis starting trans. All right, pillared off is clear. Very nice. Something that takes a lot of fucking practice to do, because you gotta learn how to read your opponent really well to do it, but. I'm pretty sure there's no way I can get this. So I got the red buff, but he got more damage on me and has more mana. So I don't really know who actually wins that trade. Realistically, I believe it to be me. I'm just gonna back here. Yeah, I think it's definitely me. He spent less gold on pots, but um, I have a 800 gold cheaper item than him right off the gate which could lead for a pretty significant snowball but if he can't if he does get that transcendence online quick then uh i could be in for some deep shit Damn. Damn, we got his Aegis. That was a really good jump by me. Just unfortunate I wasn't able to get the kill there. How much is this? 700? Alright, let's push our luck a little bit and push the wave. I don't really care about those last three. I would like the XP and the gold, but I don't really care if I miss one. I didn't miss one. It's really good. Alright, let's go do our blue. It's kind of unlucky that I used my alt. 
and didn't get the blue, but he timed his he timed his two perfectly, so and the two does do more damage than one alt tick. So I'm not salty about not getting the buff or anything. Um and at the end of the day, it was his blue buff, so he got his blue buff. I still have two buff control, and I got his Aegis for my ult, which is definitely worth it. He tried to pillar my stun, or my, my clear. I'm pretty sure I can kill here, because... well because he's low hp i do a whole lot of damage ah damn my two actually did hit him and we traded did i get first blood no i got second blood it's okay honestly it's okay i mean he had a really, really good jump. I thought he was going to up down, uh, because that's what most on her players do if you jump towards them. Um, which is why I jumped a little bit in front of him. I jumped a little bit in front of him because I was I figured the up down was coming. But um, definitely was not. Oh man, I am in a shit spot right now. Thankfully though, he's not pressing, so that's really good. Oh man. Damn. <clears throat> hmm. He's staying for that wave too. That's alright. I mean, I would love it if I could make him not stay, but don't think I can. He has alt. So me trying to get the blue is stupid. I'm gonna do it anyways. Got full boots too. Easy more. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna go this build right now. It's a little bit worse, I think, than his right now. But later in the game, it'll be okay. I really, I have a hundred power already, so. From my red buff, but still. Oh shit. Okay, well. Damn it, dude. He's really good at keeping distance. Nice. I knew my two would kill him. If I was able... <clears throat> if I was able to get him to alt... So this was my thought process. If I was able to get him to alt, there's no way that he could jump away. Um, and if that's the case scenario, then my two has a much higher chance of landing. Because there's no way he, has, he can use his one or his three or anything. He just has to stand there and alt, right? <clears throat> so my... My thought process was, 
<coughs> if I alt him, he's obviously more inclined to alt me. And if he alts me, I kill him. So... So I just was sitting there trying to get him to alt me. <clears throat> that was just my thought process behind it. Again, I said this video is going to be different. You shouldn't expect commentary, like fluff commentary like I normally do. It's just going to be things that I am trying to see and trying to do and manipulate to my advantage. Because it is a Try Hard Thursday game. He missed his two, so he's not allowed to be here anymore. It's basically illegal for him to be here after missing the two. Let's get the tower. Then we're going to go... I, I want to go Aussie next. Because he doesn't have any defense. I love ghost hits. Ghost hits are just hits. That hit on your screen, but not the others. So actual misses. In case you didn't know what ghost hits were. Ghost hits are just hits that didn't register correctly for the two different players. And, um... Yeah. True that. True that. He definitely does more damage than me right now, but he has no attack speed. His attack speed is uh, 1.2. I'm almost 1.5, so. Alright, good Aegis. Shit. Um, alright, I can go get Aussie now. I wonder if he's going Aussie also. I don't know. I'm gonna go Hide and I'm gonna go Thorns. <clears throat> Ooh, Blink Aegis, what the fuck? He's gonna try to Blink Stun me into the wall and then alt me. He has no actual fighting relics though. Like, he has an engage relic and a not die relic. But nothing that actually is, like, legitimate fighting. Also, I'm okay with him doing that because I have Aussie now, so. Just hold my abilities <clears throat> and lifesteal up. He got his Aussie. I'm gonna go hide and then I actually I could go breastplate realistically In mirror matches breastplate is like real good oh, He fucked me up there He is definitely doing a good job of keeping me at bay He doesn't have fighting relics, you know? Like I said. Ah! The blink stun was really good. I, I used my shell, but the damage, like the damage from the two, because he built transcendence and power boots, his power is like really high. Like mine is 95, his is 170. So, you know, obviously he's going to be doing a lot more damage than me. I needed, well, like what I needed to do with my shell was... Um, <clears throat> oh my throat <clears> throat> I needed my shell to oh my god <clears throat> I needed my shell to block the autos but his impale actually 
like broke my shell. And because it broke my shell completely, I wasn't able to uh, get those those block stacks for the autos. So that kind of sucked, but I'm just gonna sit here and try to push in his Phoenix. It's gonna be hard for him to defend. Is up, so I'm gonna just get this. Oh, it's with a little bit of cooldown. I'm okay with it. I would like red because power is nice, but you know, also fucking who cares. Mm. I had a really, really good pillar there, but didn't end up mattering too much. Oh, he got high too. Oof. Life steal up with this Aussie. Nice, perfect, perfect. Oh, fuck. If I got that kill, it was his Phoenix. Honestly, I probably could have let him back and gotten the Phoenix anyways. That was probably a misplay chasing there. I'm not sure. At the same time, like, we got both of his relics, so I can't really call it, like, a bad play chasing him there. But I think it probably wasn't the best. I'm gonna get Toxic played real quick. Actually, probably Xe first. Because Aussie's not gonna be doing too much yet. Like, he has a lot of power, so it's gonna be doing a decent amount for him, but... I don't know. I think we should be okay with Xe and then Toxic Blade. I would assume he's doing bull demon. He's not though, I just saw him. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. He does like no damage. I guess we just sit here and... Just out trade him under his Phoenix, I guess. Alright, I got my Aussie proc. Let's utilize it and lifesteal back up. That was that was so weird <laughs> that was really weird because we both did the exact same thing I jumped and then he jumped I shelled and then ulted and then he ulted and then I toed and then he toed we did the exact same gameplay I mean I guess it is technically the best thing to do in that scenario but like It's so weird when you guys mirror each other's abilities. He's gonna have a really hard time clearing the wave now, I think. He does have more power than me. Like, it's 192 to my 132. Or 105 now that I don't have red buff. 
Um, so maybe his two will do enough, but I doubt it. He's gonna have to alt the wave if he wants to get rid of it the right way. Very well played, my friend. Almost, almost. We got his Aegis and his Blink in that fight, though. So I'm pretty sure that means we just automatically win whenever um, we respawn. Assuming we can get to his Titan before the Phoenix spawn. Oh, that matcha is good. Okay, um... I would also love if I could wait here, but I think instead of waiting, I'm just gonna go, like instead of waiting and going Toxic Blade, I'm gonna go Wing Blade here, or Witch Blade, not Wing Blade. I'm gonna go Witch Blade here so that it slows down his attack speed even more, because his attack speed is real bad. It's 1.63 and mine's 2.05. Um, it'll slow that 1.63 down to a 1.43, so it'll be even harder for him to clear the minion wave. And um, I'm just going to use my thorns and my shell and full combo the titan and hope, the goodness gracious, it is enough. Get his jump here. Oh, that was a really good pillar. I'm actually pissed. That was a really, really good pillar. I'm okay with waiting. He's going itch of all. Good play. I like that play. I like that play so much I might even steal it. <clears throat> How much is itch of all? Extra 140. We'll go do my blue and then we'll do it. So we got that Chaval now. Gives me a good a lot of power. They should fear me now. Um so let's see, I got 2.15, he's got 1.91. 219 power to my 168. Definitely got more power than me. And he has itch of all finished now. But I got fire minions. And fire minions in duel are not something to fuck around with. If he uses an ability on the wave, I should full commit to Titan. Alright. And that, my friend, is a, a GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But wait, the video's not over. I'm actually going to do another one because um, as much as that was a really good video against Fine OK, uh, that's not try hard enough. That's only one video. Or that's only one game. You guys don't want to see me just win one game while try harding. You guys want to see me win multiple in a row. GG. All right. Do, do, do. Look at this mo or look at this cupcake I have. It's so good. It's like a it's like a chocolate chocolate cupcake. It's so good. But first, let's drink some matcha. Oh, my headphones are pulling my head down. Okay. First, I have to preface this by saying, if you drink matcha hot, you're weird because it tastes like grass. But if you drink it cold. It's really good. Is yours cold? I don't like it hot. Okay. I don't like it hot either. It's some grass shit. I had it once hot and it wasn't. Yeah.
tastes good. Oh, my arm. Is Fino K still a pro? I actually don't know. I, I thought he was. I think he is. Look you. <clears throat> um, you guys want to see my conquest rank? I think I'm in silver five. Oh, I'm in silver one. <sighs> you can tell how much I play these compared to how much I play this. <laughs> oh man, 32 days left? This split's going by quick. I thought that it was like 60, like two months left on the split, but it ain't. It ain't. Oh, also, I have to say, uh, you guys hit 88K on YouTube. So thank you very much. It's super sick. Super sick and shit. Um, if... We keep gaining subs at the rate that we're gaining. I think by March, maybe, of next year, we'll hit 100k. Let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, yeah, about March by next year, we'll hit, uh, we'll hit 100k. Unless you guys want to give me a, an early Christmas present and hit me 100k this year. Slash birthday present because they're two days apart. But um, <laughs> that would be sick. Could you imagine if like Christmas time comes around and I'm at like 90k or 91k subs and it just shoots up to 100k? <laughs> I mean, that would be the best Christmas present anyone could give me. Unless you're buying the subs. I don't want you to buy the subs. I'll be actually so fucking mad because if you bought subs, then I hit 100k, and then YouTube takes away bot accounts and I drop back down to 91. Oh my god, I would lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I would be so mad. <clears throat> okay, so I'm assuming we're probably fighting fine okay again. He's probably the highest MMR that's queuing right now, but I don't know. Also, I don't play on her that much. I mean, despite three stars on him. <laughs> but that's because I only have three stars on him because I played him a lot in season three. Uh, I actually like mained him in season three. I mained him and Anubis. Those are like the two guys that I played in season three. So I have four stars on Anubis and three on, on her. Um, I guess I banned Scotty. Kibo, Pele, Bakasura, and Kali. Kali ban too? I'm gonna go set if I can. I'm gonna ban Hell. Actually, no, if I'm set, Hell doesn't scare me. Who does scare me is Poseidon. I don't wanna get my ass cracking. I don't want a fucking aggressive bidet. Alright, let's play set. Your ruler. <sighs> Who are you playing? Naja. It's a Najini. A boy's a Najini. If I use my three and my alt and then he alts me, does my three tick on him when he's in the air and still heal me? Through my alt? Good question. We'll find out. <clears throat> um, Gonna go Blackthorn, obviously. I don't want to get one shot at level five, so. And I could go Beats? I could. I'm going to. I was going to get Blink, but uh, so I have to remember that today is a tryhard game. It's not just like a meme game. Like, and normally, I think I would go Blink here because it's more fun. Like, while I'm recording, normally I'd go Blink. But Beads is just such the better play that it's, I mean, it's worth getting it. Especially because I'm tryharding. I'm not trying to troll. You know, you feel me? You feel me, man. Oh. Alright, first blood, easy. That's how you do it, boys. That's how you play set. Blind fucking aggression. And hit all your abilities helps, too. Level the one. 
Don't use your mana clearing this wave. I don't want him to ring bounce, which is why I'm positioning the way that I am. He's gonna ring bounce those probably. Oh no, he's just not attacking. Oh, one of my dudes didn't make it there. Um, he's also starting Blackthorn. I need at least 110 mana in order to use my alt combo. So I'm just going to hold out for it. Very, very surprised. Oh, he crit the fuck out of me. Ouch. His auto did 115. Dude, the RNG beat my ass there. I was healing enough to tank through the minion wave and him if he didn't crit. I even beads his sash so that I could keep doing damage. That was actually just unlucky. <clears throat> Oh my god, I hate that. When my three cancels right when I'm placing a minion to jump over. Worst thing. He could ult me now, but I don't think... Uh, he probably has... He probably has... Frostbound. Or not Frostbound, Blackbird. I don't like that you crit me every fucking hit, dude. It's really annoying. Oh, I think you're dead. I don't think I'm dead. I think you're dead. Mm-hmm. You had about 86 archer shots hovering right under you when you were landing down from that all. <laughs> that sucked ass for him. He, he has shell up too, by the way. He has shell up, but he died before he could activate it. Also, he has no... Um, he has no alt now, so if I catch him... Being a little bit greedy, a little bit out of the ordinary, I can just kill him. Such as now. Yeah, he's just a little bit greedy there. Like, it's not even a lot. Like, I think I know you might be thinking, wow, he was really, really greedy to go up like that. But he was honestly, like, ten steps out of his tower. That's not greedy. He was not playing that greedy. Like... The only reason that I was able to kill him there is because I'm Set. And I know Set's ability to chase people down and to burst damage and shit like that. And because I know it so well, I'm able to capitalize when they're like even one step too far out maybe. Um, but that's just because I play the god a lot. Alright, he's doing side minions. I'm going to stay over here so he doesn't get the XP for the wave. Yep. That was not smart. Not smart, dude. If he wanted to uh, play that way, he definitely had to. Hopefully, that would get them. Uh, whatever. If he wanted to play that way, he had to play a lot smarter and like alt earlier. He had to ult a lot earlier if he wanted to play like that. I think I'll just actually pick up this blue. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, I'll just pick up this blue. Beat his ass. <laughs> okay, nice. I just placed the two down right in the middle of the hall and he just had to walk into it. Oh, thank you, clone boy, for killing him. And actually, we can probably do one more game. Five minutes surrender. Let's queue up again. I know a lot of people, by the way, don't think that I actually win that much. And they think that I'm, I only upload wins. And that's not true. Because <laughs> why did I get more MMR from this dude than I did from the pro player? 
That's my question. I don't know. But um, a lot of people think that I don't actually win that much. But I just upload all my wins so it looks like I don't lose a lot. But realistically, I lose to like three people. I lose to Paul because he's a fucking god and nobody can beat him except Captain Twig. Uh, which, weirdly enough, I don't lose to. <laughs> um, I lose to Paul. I lose to Donnie Ray, who I've only fought once, but it counts. And I lose to Face. Those are the three players that will consistently beat me um, for whatever reason. Everyone else, I know I can lose to, but it's not as likely as if I were to run into one of those three players. Um, I kind of want to play Kronos, but if he's going to let me play set, I'm going to do it. Oh, I just got set legendary. Fuck yeah. Fenerban? Or actually? Wait, is this the same guy? Set your ruler. Oh, should I buy these gold and legendary skins? How does this look? How does the legendary skin look? Oh, wait, it actually looks lit. Okay, we're buying it. Let's buy this. Favor. Thank you. <sighs> Vulcan. Oh, I hate this matchup. It's not It's not that it's bad. I actually think this matchup is good for set, believe it or not. Because um, it can't be slowed, so when he inevitably gets gem, it doesn't really fucking matter to me. But um, I don't like the matchup because... I feel like every time I get close, he just meatballs his feet, and then I'm infinitely far behind. So, not to mention the turret could be a pain in the ass. This could be a hard matchup. He know he knew I was playing set because I mean it's the same guy. He he knew it by my bands, I guess, because I knew it was the same guy because I knew it was his bands. Um, but so he probably estimated. Or estimate. He probably assumed the set and is just playing Vulcan to counter it. But I don't know if Vulcan completely counters set. He has a very good matchup, but with how many times I've played the matchup, I feel like set wins it. He's hiding. He's hiding very hard right now. He's very scared. As he should be. I have better clear than him, don't I? Oh my boy. Misplay. Misplay of the sentry. He put his turret right in the middle of the wave. Can I teleport to that, please? Never mind, I'm dead. Oh, yikes. Oh, thank God for teleport. <laughs> Can I yeet this boy at you? No. Cancel the yeet. He popped both of his pots. My boy's spicy. Ow. Ow, fucking hell, he does so much damage. Okay, I'm dead, so... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just gotta wait till late game, I think. Especially if he, if he doesn't go... He didn't do red. If he doesn't go um, sprint, this game is going to be really easy for me. But if he goes sprint, it's going to be pretty tough. Or if I let him snowball like he just did. That could be pretty bad too. I think he's maxing turret. Like no mana. I'm just gonna clear the wave and back. Get my Blackthorn. Meatball. 
I think if I can beads the meatball, I might be able to all in him and kill him. But it's a pretty big might because he still has his one to, to dash away from me. I have to take advantage before he has cooldown, I think. So maybe if he uses meatball, I'll just dash it on him. I don't think he's going to, though. He's playing very passive. I don't want him to back, obviously. Yeah, that was a that was a really bad play by him. That was a really bad play. He used his meatball and didn't hit me and then still wanted to engage. That's gonna get him dead every time. We got half the tower dead. The wave cleared. And now we back. I'm gonna go Traveler's Boots, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go Traveler's Boots, I'm pretty sure. Because I think I need all the movement I can get this game. Still a little bit behind, but that's all right. First blood is hefty. Will he feel this from me? He did want to steal it from me, but he could not. Come here. Come here. Okay. That was annoying. He's fast. I mean, he does have finished boots, and I don't, so. And his passive is movement speed. I'm not gonna stay for that. I could probably, and it would be okay to do, but I'd much rather be safe. So I got Traveler's Boots and now I'm gonna start my Hasten Katana. I mean, honestly, maybe I want Stone Cutting. Stone Cutting's not that good against Magical Gods. Obviously you don't need physical protection against Magical Gods, but if I wanna push my lead like I'm trying to do, then maybe it's not actually as bad as I think, because... Oh my god, he's almost dead. Wait, this boy's like legit almost dead. Yup, I, I fucking chucked that minion at him. Nice. Really good. That's just good set mechanic, honestly. That was awesome. Um, I can probably get the tower with these three minions. I got my passive charged up a little bit, so my attack speed is pretty up there. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. You wreck. I am wreck. Um, how much is... 1800, that shit's expensive, holy fuck. Where my boy's at. If he's right here, he's dead. Yep. And he just used his whole kit. Slow him down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pushed up too far, man. And that's... Yeah, I am. GG. And that's a game, dude. Um, One game against a pro player, and then two... Five to seven minute surrenders. I mean... What do you expect on Try Hard Thursday? If you enjoyed the video... 
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace. Oh, also, leave the feedback in the comments about if you actually enjoyed this kind of video, like more of um, more of a tryhard, like play whatever god I can, like play my best god right now and go for the win and focus more on mechanics and like builds um, rather than just trying to like fluff up all the talk and be entertaining, I guess. Because no one really does try hard games in duel everyone wants to see meme shit so i just want to see if uh maybe there's a spot for some super try hard duel on youtube we'll see i'll leave your feedback down below once again if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh until next time guys peace